The Iran Defense Twitter account released images of Iran's deployment of its main battle tank, the Karar MBT. These images showcased five Karar MBTs being transported on Volvo FH-16 trucks heading towards Khuzestan Province, headquarters to the 92nd Armored Division of the Islamic Republic of Iran Army, Nazaja. Located near the Iraqi border and not far from Baghdad, this province holds strategic significance. The Karar is a third-generation main battle tank, announced in 2016 by Iran. It represents an effort to amalgamate features from the Russian T-90, the American M1 Abrams, and the British Challenger II tanks, following the failure to secure a license to produce the Russian T-90 MS tank. Manufactured at the Bani Hashim Defense Industrial Complex, the Karar is equipped with a 125mm smoothbore gun, a remotely operated weapons station with a 12.7mm machine gun, and an automatic loader system. It also features an electro-optical fire control system, a laser rangefinder, and a ballistic computer, and is capable of engaging both stationary and moving targets in day and night conditions. Powered by a 1,000 horsepower engine, the Karar has a power-to-weight ratio of about 20 horsepower per ton, a top speed of around 70 km per hour, and a range of 500 to 550 km, extendable by an additional 200 to 280 km with external fuel tanks. The 92nd Armored Division, also known as the Awaz Armored Division or the Khuzestan Armored Division, is the only Iranian division with enough tanks to be considered a true armored division, even by regional standards. Primarily equipped with T-72 tanks, this division is regarded as Iran's premier armored division. It is considered one of the best units in the Iranian army, both in terms of equipment and combat capability. Besides the Karar, its arsenal includes M60A1 tanks, T-72 tanks, M113 armored personnel carriers, and Zulfikar tanks. The recent imagery of the Karar MBT being transported to Khuzestan province highlights the ongoing modernization of Iran's armored forces and their readiness for potential regional engagements, particularly along the border with Iraq.